solo queue that a lot of these mid laners brought out. Frog in it, taking that once again. Imagine White Shield to try and create a tie, of course. Now that the champion... No wards from Alliance in this river here. Down and gone. Should be able to set it up. Oh, that's a good setup as well. The Rune Prism will slow him down. Flash is available. He may need to use it. Oh, has to sidestep the Cocoon. The Repel will come on towards him. Left's going to get one more hit. Got oh, it. Oh. goes down. And Wicked, not playing Aurelia, gets caught out again. Pretty soon as well, so... Didn't get to use his TP advantage in his lane. Did, however, pick up... At least an assist from the gang in the other corner. He's not done. Oh, Nip's in trouble. He's going to get caught out. In goes Tin Arms. Ultimate available. And used to great success. And that's the second kill. Pushing up the, the wave on Kale like we know he wants to do early on. And just, just sneak Three behind him. Oh, Nip has no flash. Oh, oh. there goes a dark behind him. There's the cocoon. In comes the man. Minerva. Is he going to get him on the turret? The hasn't hit level six. He hasn't got the ultimate. Now Dance gets flayed in. But he hasn't done the damage. They're going to try and turn up towards him. Tam He's going to put the damage down. One more hit. Tabs turns it around and gets the kill for Alliance. See? No. Yes. Cool. There's, there's the it part is. in there where, where I said didn't suspect a thing. Kind of gave it away, but there we go. <laughs> Tanagorn. He's going to get focused no, on. Flash is not available. Void spikes in. Shook wants the reset. Oh, get him. Can he get out? Ooh. Yes, he can. Hit and run. Problems. Tin Owens can wait. As soon as that minion wave comes around, I think he may try and fight. He's gonna come around, the charm is there. Doesn't land it, but it doesn't matter. Let land it do, and that will be another kill for Kaboo. It is not over yet here, Frog uh -oh. and Shook. Uh -oh. One of Kaboo. The answer squad coming in here, Shook and Frog and trying to make things work. They have split the fight now. Uh oh, they want both. That dash through, it's gonna be a few hits. The ignite, oh, Chum the water is gonna eat that one up. Very nice. <laughs> it looks like Shook. Able to pick up a kill on the other side. I guess we got a nerf over here. Versus two here in the top oh, oh. lane. Tabs already uses right tat tap. Oh. That's going to be the hook down as well. Is that the security that they wanted to continue to die? The turret. Tabs is going to get up here. Do they want any more though? The flay just misses and Wicked comes in a tad too late. But are they able to stick on this fight? No, they are not. Nip looks completely lost in this game, but let's see what Frog can do bot lane. He's gonna go on towards Lep. Has he got the damage? Lep's gonna try and turn it around, but he's only got that catalyst completing. No Rod of Ages just yet. While Froggen has the sheep, oh. Brock it off. He should have enough. One more hit will do it. And Froggen gets a revenge kill, but the first tower of the game. Where he tried to save Taps and it was just too late. Taps already died, so he wasn't able to join here and Froggen already the pressure from the Alliance, like you said, where we saw yesterday. Oh! Gets hit up. He does throw Chum the Waters. That's going to be a nice spell immune coming off oh, from the Black Shield. Lane. Left, not in a good situation here. Wicked, they are fusing everything to get into this one as well. They are able to take him down. But like so you need these deep lane wards, and of course you need wards on your flank. That tower's going. It's going got down. it. Again, moving the wards. Oh, oh all around them. That's the lockdown onto Nif. Can they get any more out of this? The turret already went down. It does not look like Alliance wants to keep the fight going here. And they are really, wait a minute. Brock is about oh. to go in. Minerva's a little too far forward. Shook's about to get hit up. They take down Shook. They're looking at tabs now. Froggen to come back around without Chum the Waters. A very nice repel. He goes down from the dot damage. Froggen's able to answer. And a two for three as they're still backing up. A nice skill shot binding coming in from Dan's. To see if Wicked can be ready with his ulti in case Alliance wants to fight. They seem like Whoa. moving in. Whoa, Froggen. Seem like they want to fight indeed. Frog what? gets it up here. It could be Nif next, actually. They're looking for more kills on this one. Tinnon's over the wall. Zap just misses. Nif could be the next one to go down in this fight. If Lep gets over the wall. Oh, and kaboom goes the dynamite! What the hell was that, Frog? That was the worst engage I've ever, ever seen. Wicked was still at the boom of. I don't know if Frog was expecting Wicked to be there. Come around, the minion wave will follow through, and this could well be the fifth tower unanswered in this game by Kaboom. Alliance, they have to step away or they're gonna get caught. Such control right now. Could be Whoa! Shook. Trying to get back into this fight with the rest of the team. They do take down Danagorn, and they are going to be chasing on, but might be a disengage left with a great flash over the wall. And now they're only looking to grab Dan's just a little bit more. Will be some Shook's mana bar, but Froggy gets in range to slow it. The rest of the team gets out, but they did just grab another turret. Kaboom. Really have oh, Nif. played well. Nif, ooh, he's one that has been caught out, but the rest of his team this time too claps in. Chop the water, throw out the task for going in. Yeah, that was the black shield that he knew wouldn't be able to go on Dan's after he threw it onto Tin Owns. They turn this one around and say, yeah, we'll take this fight and we'll take down Nif.
Push up mid as quick as possible. Alliance have to swing around and sweep and try and cause this one. The charm catches on Wigan. No Tino goes in. He's oh. got him. He takes him down. And that's going to cause real problems. The inhibitor turret is being bashed off. Frogger moves in. Can he slide across? Tino and Sonia's outclass catches him out. The Ratata attack comes around the side. But Frogger turned around. He goes down. Kaboom are destroying Alliance. I cannot believe this right now. They are pushing into the base at 23 minutes. They are totally shutting down Alliance, the super team from the European LCS. And as you said, Deficio, the team that went undefeated against Naja and Wa Kaboom now. Big what are they going for the next team fight? Minerva cannot be caught out of position, and then Kaboom will win out again instantly. Or he's going to die. That was such a risky move right now. They're gonna go for Danagorn. They're pulling the trigger. Tabs has used Ratatat. He's gonna drop down. I'm not sure they've got him out. Froggen carefully goes in. Earth gets caught out. Minerva Tinones pulls the trigger. Is he gonna get taken down? He gets out alive. And everybody is safe. Who's and well, that would be Alliance going out of the tournament. It is all gonna happen. Froggen's going in. He's gonna jump on. Lep's gonna be the focus target. Can they lock towards him? This is Droplet. Alliance are in trouble. They're going to get away on that. They managed to get one down, but it's answered quickly by Minerva. He gets excited. He chases on taps. Oh, the oh, 10 oh. from Nymph is incredible. It keeps him alive. And maybe, just maybe, we'll keep Alliance's hopes alive. Very explosive from Kaboom here. They're showing us how short the fuse really is, but Alliance able to snuff that one out. They have two kills to one right now, and they're going to try to continue chasing this down. He dashes in, but Froggen can't do much. Nice dodge on the binding. That's pretty much what can keep everybody out of the fight right now. A cocoon is really all they have. Left's going to have oh, to get real it. close for that rune prison. Now, well, they have a turret still. They have a turret that Alliance has to fight under. They're walking through it. They are going to be able to keep going. Oh! The, base, the base is getting torn apart, though. They may lose another inhibitor for chasing so far down the lane. Shook's going to get back. He's finally up from being dead. Start the Baron here. Oh, very low road. Oh, tap up Zul. Ratatat tat used. He's stood on top of Jumpers. He's going to have to have the oh. intervention just in time. Dance taken so, so low. They can chase on this one. Lep comes off the side. Everybody disengages. The waves are in their advantage right now. That oh, tap going in again. Oh, he's going to go around the side. This time he will catch them. Tinones jumps away from it. Lep catches out. The ultimate already used. That's a misplay. And that is Froggen going down. Tap's now on the side there. The Wicked Alliance are completely split. Wicked is helpless in this chase. Kaboom! Oh, chasing! Miscommunication from Alliance again. Frog Second inhibitor going down. Alliance have got no answer. It's still 13 seconds on the dead timer for Frog and, and Kaboom! Around the side, but Kaboom are chasing. They've got to take this down so quick. Tabs is there. Minerva's just off of the side, as is the left. Lep. Lep can do a hell of a lot of damage if he can catch them all in a pit. There we go. They check them out. Final oh. goes in. Lep comes around. There's the rocket. Alliance are in trouble. They get the Baron, but can they get out? Shot's gone out. Chase leaps away. Lep chases on towards him. Gets away with it. Everyone and Alliance fight. are away. They have to get to the fountain. They Boom has not been pushed off the turrets until they grab it. And the Nexus turret almost about to go They're down. Alliance has too much on their plate to consider. That's the fight. The, the control on to left. They are able to take him down. Danagorn very low. Shook. Gonna get hit up start of the fight. They're gonna win. Next They're gonna turret win. is almost about to go oh down. Oh my down. god. Alliance down. Kaboom. They flip the fuse. And they are gonna take the game here. It's just a bit more. Frost is charmed up. It. And it's the kiss of death for him. A triple kill coming in for Tino. And I can't believe it, D-Man. just got decimated by Kaboom Esports from Brazil, representing the wildcard tournament. And that, ladies and gentlemen, blows this group wide open once again. I, I don't even know what to say. Speechless. Those they, are the words. They won every single lane against Alliance here.